Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna take you through all of my every night steps before going to bed, what my favorite products are that help me get a really good night's sleep, things that I would recommend to you if you're like me and you have trouble sleeping or you just wanna make sure you get a more restful night's sleep. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is something that is new to me and I'm so glad that I found this. So this is called Nod Pod. Now this may seem a little bit strange at first, but I promise it is so good. So this is the little canister I wanted to show you it's so cute. So this is a weighted blanket for your eyes. I know how weird that sounds but if you're someone who already wears an eye mask then this is just like the next logical step. I typically do wear eye masks especially if I am having trouble sleeping or I go to bed late and I know the sun's gonna be shining in but this just adds like an extra layer to that. It looks so different but it's so cool. So it looks like this. So they're basically like little pods. You can machine wash this too. I actually took this out of the box and went ahead and washed it immediately and it's still like 100% perfect. Nothing happened to it. It actually looks just as good as when I pulled it out. But there are these four little pods right here. They are filled with little micro beads, but they are completely scent free. So there's several things that I like about this. First off, for me, this actually works better than an eye mask where I can't find the right spot where it's comfortable or it's like pinching my hair, pulling my hair. I have to put my hair up in a bun and then put it on. And sometimes they're just uncomfortable. This one, you literally, if you're lucky enough to be able to sleep on your back which I don't know what that's like you just lay it on your eyes and you can literally just lay it on like this you can also wrap it like this so I'm just going to show you above you can wrap it and there is a little hole right here which you can actually pull it through so if you prefer for it to be on your head all the way around and a little bit more secure you can do it that way and you just pull it as tight as you need to in order for it to stay on but I'm a side sleeper and the cool thing about this so say I'm going to sleep on this side onto the pillow and I'll show you guys later too I would actually take the last two and place it like this and then the other ones would lay on the side of my head and wrap around It's so comfortable and honestly like it seems strange But once you use it, it's like oh my god like this makes total sense So the little weighted sensation for me It helps me keep my eyes closed and I know that's so silly But for whatever reason ever since I was little when I would go to bed I would just like stare off into the distance not thinking about it My mind's thinking about 500 other things that I you know the most embarrassing thing I did that was 13 years ago, whatever it may be. But I just stare off and I never close my eyes. So stupid, it doesn't make any sense. But you know, if you're weird like me, then it'll help. But also the weighted sensation is just very calming and soothing. There's something about it, just like a weighted blanket that you would use on your body, it kind of works in the same way. It's definitely good for blocking out light. You definitely don't see anything with this because it's got that gentle pressure that's just holding everything there. I love it. So this has been amazing. You can put this fleece side onto your skin if you want it to feel warmer but you also have this jersey cotton side which is gonna feel a little bit more cooler to the skin that's the side that I like personally and then you can definitely stick this into the refrigerator or the freezer if you want it to be cooling I actually love it that way because like I said I love like the cooling sensation on my skin so definitely a must-have this is amazing I will definitely have nod pod linked below so that you can check it out I'll go ahead and link everything else as well but this is so interesting and I'm so glad that I found it because it is basically replaced all my other eye masks so that's the first thing I had to tell you guys about next up something when it comes to falling asleep a little bit more easily is the hum beauty Z's. so I've talked about these before when I did a hum review I don't use these every night just when I'm having trouble going to sleep I'm feeling a little bit more anxious but with everything going on right now my brain does not want to shut off and this is what's gonna help me with that because it'll help me fall asleep more easily it kind of just relaxes you it's natural melatonin and b6 so it just helps you fall asleep more easily definitely worth checking out and these are really affordable actually so I would definitely recommend hum if you have trouble falling asleep or you just want something to gently kind of relax you a little bit and help you go to sleep faster right, I actually have two humidifiers I'm gonna tell you about first one I'm gonna quickly show you my like really big humidifier which is not cute in any way it's just from Walmart this is from Homedics this one lasts all through the night so the reason I love this one so much is because it really holds a ton of water but this reminds me of like the humidifier my mom had when I was like seven if I got sick you had the humidifier on all night but honestly this helps my skin and my breathing it seems I can tell if I forget to turn this on and then I go to sleep I wake up feeling dry like my sinus feels dry my skin feels dry and a lot of times I'll have like an irritated throat it makes the biggest difference but I have to show you guys this one too so this one I actually got on Walmart's website but it was sold by someone else so I will try to find this and link it but this was pretty affordable I think it was only around $16 it 
doesn't hold as much, but it is surprisingly good. It's just got this little bitty tank here. It also lights up, which I will show you guys. I'm gonna go through like my go to bed routine with you and it lights up and changes colors and it's actually surprisingly good like humidifier. It does really, really well. So I'll remember to link both of those below. All right, I'm gonna quickly tell you guys about my pillowcase. Now I will tell you this, this is just like a generic one that I found at TJ Maxx, but this is a, a Charmeuse. I think it's from use but this is a satin material this one was really affordable silk pillowcases are even nicer but if you're like me and you just don't want to spend quite that much on a pillowcase pick you up a satin pillowcase this one feels amazing on the skin it feels really cooling it doesn't like wrinkle your skin so what I was noticing for however many years I've been using like cotton pillowcases is no matter how nice the fabric was I would still wake up with like marks on my skin and that can actually like form into your skin if you're like me and you're always sleeping super weird like scrunching up your skin so this is just a lot smoother against the skin I feel like this does better for me as far as breakouts go I do have to wash it consistently like obviously you can't let your pillowcase go for weeks and expect your skin not to you know freak out a little bit but this seems to do really well on my skin for whatever reason I really like it so this one was really affordable but I definitely recommend like if you have hair problems skin problems or the cotton feels like it's drying your skin out which I always felt like it did then a satin is a good alternative to a silk pillowcase by all means if you can get a good deal on a silk one or you just want to invest in one absolutely and I think I will but this is just like a really good alternative that I've been using speaking of my pillowcase this is the deep sleep pillow spray so this is from this works I think I have talked about this a few times on my channel now this spray is actually really really good I was extremely skeptical about this honestly when I first got it I think I got it in a FabFitFun box or something like that and I was like oh well, I could use it I mean whatever I wasn't going to give it away to someone because honestly I just thought it was stupid. <laughs> um, sorry that's the truth but I'm totally converted though. I absolutely love it. It has a very like earthy scent. I can definitely smell like lavender and chamomile and those typically aren't my things but this does exactly what it says. Like it just helps you fall asleep and feel calm. There's just something about it when I spray it now I'm like okay now I can go to sleep. I don't feel like my sleep routine is complete if I don't spray this on my pillow. So I always spray this every single night before I go to bed just two little spritzes and then I lay right down I can smell all the calming scents and I absolutely love it like I know that's not very descriptive but it's just so good I have two backups of this that's how much I love it so definitely an essential for me all right now it's time to put my hair up and I'm gonna go through some of my nightly skincare essentials as well because for me that's a big part of my getting ready to go to bed kind of routine my makeup has to be completely gone and my skin has to be really nice and prepped for bed all right so first things first I know my makeup is a little wild today. I got a lot of glitter on. I saw a little tip from Nikki Tutorials that I'm gonna try. So I'm taking some tape to remove my glitter before I get started with my skincare. I'm just gonna test this out. Why not? Oh wow, it took my stars right off, which is nice because those are nice and chunky. You definitely don't want to wash your face with that on. Okay, that's pretty cool. So here are my stars. It didn't want to take off a lot of that smaller glitter, but it definitely helped. Taking some Lancome by Facil Face, and I'm going to use a couple of Shiseido cotton pads. I'm going to soak those really nicely just to begin to dissolve all my makeup. So even though I'm going to use a two-in-one cleanser after this, I have on so much makeup today that I just don't want to leave it to just one step. I like to be very thorough. Flip those over. These cotton pads are so big and I like to use every little last bit of it. All right, so that got the majority of my makeup off. Those are like completely used. And now I'm gonna go in with the Ula Henriksen Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. Now this one is really good at removing like makeup and cleansing your skin, but I just have on so much that I like to make doubly sure. But if you have like a light makeup day, absolutely go in with this guy and you will be good to go. Time to rinse. All right, skin is clean, so it is time to tone. We wanna to balance our pH. This is the Murad Hydrating Toner. I love this one because I feel like it just kind of resets my skin. Perfect before the rest of your skincare routine. Next, I'm gonna go in with a serum. This is new by Ula Henriksen, the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. I love to mix a vitamin C and a retinol in my nighttime skincare routine. They actually work wonderfully together and basically address so many signs of aging. 
Then I'm going to take the Biosense Phyto Retinol Serum. This one also has squalene in it, so it's really good for hydrating. And I'm going to layer that right on top. I've given the first serum about 30 seconds to sink in, and then we're going to go in another. I always flush, so no worries there. That's completely normal. But that is a really good combination of serums. One of my all-time favorite products for the under eye is the Kopari Starry Eye Balm. All I do with this is just run my ring finger in there one time only, and then I actually rub my two ring fingers together. That's all you need with this one. I'm gonna go right under the eye and pat, 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 in to out. And then I'll press it into the top of my eyelid, right up under my brow as well, just what's left on my finger. Then I'm gonna take the Ula Henriksen C Rush Brightening Double Cream. This one is so hydrating and literally, it smells like one of those Flintstones Push Pops, you guys remember? I think I'm showing why I need anti-aging products right now. So I like to massage that in my fingers and just go in. And then there are a few little finishing steps to my skincare that I really, really enjoy doing. First is my Gua Sha. I got this from Ulta. I can't remember the seller, but I'll try to remember to link it. But I like to do a little massage with this. My favorite is along the jawline, fighting that gravity. You can like engage your muscles here. You can drain lymphatic fluid. It's gonna help everything sink into the skin, but it really gets that blood flow going. There's so many ways you can do it, and there's guides online too, but I absolutely love this. Something I try to remember to do every time I do my skincare both morning and night is drink water and if I've gone all day without drinking enough water then I want to make sure I'm drinking some while I'm doing my nightly skincare routine bottoms up I also like to apply my grande lash right before bed I take it out only one time and I apply the thinnest layer flip it over and you're really done you don't want to do any more than that I find that my eyes will get irritated if I use too much and I do have grande brow but before I had grande brow I would just take the excess of my grande lash and go right here and right here and I definitely saw a difference just from doing that and then the finishing touch that I absolutely have to do every single night is lip balm if I have dry lips throughout the night I swear it wakes me up at night because it's so uncomfortable for me my go-to is the nug coco shine lip balm this one has cocoa butter in it it's so so nourishing I use this literally any time of day but at night I like to put a little bit heavier of a layer on that way it really lasts all right skincare is complete so now it is just time to go to bed